Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Alifa Yena Binti Mpia. My metric number is 163521. I am from School of Physics and I am first year student of Science Physics. In this video, I am a script writer. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Amira Shahmina Binti Fidaus. My metric number is 160475. I am from School of Physics. I am a first year student of Medical Physics. And in this video, I am as a presenter. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Alisa Kistina Binti Jafri. My metric number is 163830. I am from School of Physics and I am first year student of Science Physics. In this video, I am a video editor. Hi and Assalamualaikum. Today I would like to tell you guys about the application of electromagnetic in our surroundings that function in many things. For my group, we want to tell you guys about the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMOS. What is EMOS? EMOS is a type of aircraft launching system other than catapult system which is using steam. It was developed by the General Atomics. And the first EMOS was installed on the United States Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford and the Chinese aircraft carrier Fujian is also followed installed the EMOS. All of you must have wondered how the benefit aircraft was launched by the ship, right? The aircraft was launched by the aircraft carrier using EMOS that have linear induction motor LIM. LIM can accelerate a 100,000 pounds or 45,000 kilograms aircraft to 130 knots or 240 km per hour. Firstly, power electronics or cycloconverters energize some parts of the system which are in the vicinity of the shutter rather than energizing the entire launch motor leading to minimum losses. Cycloconverters also increase its voltage and frequency to provide sufficient launch energy because EMOS needs a high energy and frequency to launch the aircraft. Then, when power is turned on, a wave electromagnetic force silently shoots the aluminium block to the opposite end using these alternators which is store energy kinetically and release them in 2 to 3 seconds pulse during the launch at the speed of 60 miles per hour and there are four these alternators each storing energy of about 121 MJ and rotating at 6400 rotation per minute but due to the stability issues, the alternators rotated in counter-rotating pairs in a top frame because it takes 45 seconds between the successive launches to regain required rotation per minute. Lastly, the carriage releases the aircraft at about 200 miles or 320 km and comes to a stop at only 20 feet about 6 meters due to reversing the electromagnetic field which is used to bring the carriage to the starting point for another launch. The advantages of EMOS are higher launch energy which have capability to launch both heavy and light aircraft than the steam catapult that have launch energy 95 megajoule less than EMOS which is 122 MJ. Also, the time required to steam build up the pressure again is nearly 80 seconds while EMOS is about 45 seconds because EMOS have higher launch energy. Lastly, EMOS can reduce volume and weight than steam calipers and this extra space can be used for other crucial elements of the carrier. So, the electromagnet system can provide thrust density of 1322 psi over the steam catapult, which is 
50 psi. Increased density in both launch engine and energy storage devices result in decreased volume of the system from 1133 m3 to less than 425 m3. The disadvantages of EMOS are requirement of high power generation sources because carrier configure EMOS will require large amount of electric power which can consume up to 100 megawatts of electricity. In 3 seconds, such an amount as a small town uses at the same time comparison to steam pressure required by the steam catapult. Lastly, requirement of separate cooling system because EMOS does require cooling system and heat exchanges due to flow of enormous amount of current within the setup although EMOS uses a better method to transfer electrical energy to the moving part, shutter and separate cooling equipment and mechanism are also required for these alternators and power conversion units compared to the steam catapult. In the conclusion, EMOS is a new advanced system that is purposed for launch the aircraft system for the battlefield aircraft on the aircraft carrier. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. I hope to see you again. Bye.